source person, Mr. Amit Kureka. Sir is a director, data science solution, invested Yardley, Bangalore. Previously, Sir has been senior technology manager, advanced analytics at Procter & Gamble, India. With more than 17 years of rich experience as an applied data science leader with expertise in strategy, innovation, IoT, industry 4.0, digital analytics, transformation, he has served under various capacities in InvestNet Yardley, Procter & Gamble, Satam Computers, and Aditya Birla Group. His responsibilities have been to strategize, develop, and deploy AI and analytics solution to drive analytics transformation for the organization. He has spent over a decade with Procter & Gamble, pioneered industry 4.0 and digital transformation program for the company, and led global forums for manufacturing analytics and digital. Currently responsible for wealth data science and analytics solution at InvestNet Yardley, he helps simplify wealth data for advisors and customers to track and improve financial performance. Over years, he has nurtured and led teams to perform at their peak and delivered more than 10 plus breakthrough innovations and have delivered value worth rupees 25 million trawl throughout business intelligence, artificial intelligence, and digital capabilities. Heading wealth, AI, and analytics solution delivery for InvestNet Yardley as a part of data analytics team, the largest financial data aggregation platform providing data enrichment to banks and financial institutions. Passionate, sir is passionate about coaching and mentoring people and startups and have mentored 100 plus aspiring data scientists and mid-career IT experts. InvestNet Yardley data analytics team is recognized as top 10 data science team. We are fortunate to have you here, sir. Uh, without further delay, I would request Amit Purhekar, sir, to begin his deliberation. Thank you, Virish, for such a nice, uh, kind introduction. Uh, let me share my screen. Yes, okay. it's visible now, sir. Awesome. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and good evening. Uh, uh, my name is Amit. Um, I'm going to take you through a little bit different. Since I thought uh, there could be many aspiring data scientists, business analysts, data analysts, maybe data engineers among you. Um, so I just thought of uh, focusing a little bit more on how can you transform your organization? What do you need to do uh, in terms of acquiring skill sets? And once you join a job, what could be the tasks or challenges you could face? And um, what are the key tips which I could share, right? And uh, while I speak, feel free to just uh, put in your questions so that we can address it towards the end of the session. All right, so um, welcome to the real world. Uh, that's how I start on this. Basically, um, there are several people in this group, or there might be several people, who must have heard about Kaggle, some of the hackathons. They might have done Capstone project. If you have not, that could be your first analytics projects while you are studying, while you are learning. Now, one of the biggest difference, what you might find uh, basically whenever you are doing um, uh, uh, learning on Kaggle, uh, learning through Kaggle, uh, learning through Capstone projects is basically those projects are something which are totally different from real world. When you enter into, enter into a real life, what really happens is reality strikes you. Uh, one of the biggest thing which you face is having a clear problem statement definition. So what would happen is on Kaggle, if you are a Kaggler, um, and while, while I speak, if you could just type in like how many of you have done Kaggles, um, uh, I'm sure there would be few, but basically if you are uh, doing capstone project, if you are doing Kaggle exercises, the problem statement would be in front of you, but while you are doing, 
a real analytics in the organization one of the biggest difference is you would have to go back and define the problem statement you will have to define um, and identify what is return on investment you are going to get by doing an analytics project um, you will have to find out whether the data is really available as kapil mentioned in his uh, talk uh, in consumer goods sector the data is not or rather it becomes a challenge in, depending on your area uh, where you are handling the data uh, but it's not given the, the data availability could be a challenge the evaluation matrix um, sometimes it could be really confusing um, for example in case uh, some of you are really looking forward to really optimize uh, what should be your precision and recall when i say precision and recall in data science terminologies precision says how uh, precisely you are predicting the solution to the problem recall uh, signifies what percentage of the time you are actually predicting you are actually predicting that something is going to happen so from that standpoint both of these terms sometimes you will have to uh, trade off in between one versus other in terms of trade offs um, when you are doing a real job you could have uh, to do trade offs between cost uh, or calculate return on investment in case uh, the costs are extremely high for example the cost in terms of computing uh, do you have a cpu which has 8 core 64 gig ram and are you able to run it 24 by 7 or if you are deploying it on aws uh, what would be your monthly cost, running cost? Uh, what's your ROI by running that algorithm? So having um, al always uh, some of the sexiest algorithm may not be optimal in terms of running your uh, AI in the system and deploying that AI system. Sometimes you might face an issue in terms of latency of the problem statement. I'll give you an example. So I work with a, a financial institution and um, it's uh, it's important in most of the financial institution it's important let's say you go to a bank you actually log into your account and the account says like hey uh, here is the spending pattern for your last three months so from that if you do not get that uh, experience good experience every time your spending pattern where was your last spend if you are not getting that uh, obviously you would not be happy so that latency is important over here. So the data, you have to fetch that data. You have to calculate those responses. You have to demonstrate that data in a visual manner on the dashboard of your banking app or banking web page. Scalability, so the algorithm or data set which you have developed, is it really scalable whenever you are deploying to a larger, larger audience? Uh, what are the kinds of problems you would face when you actually scale up and roll it out? Can you really have thousand users logging on to your website and be still able? Uh, you would be still able to predict what's your recommendations for watching a particular movie. Imagine Netflix. On Netflix, whenever you are browsing, uh, uh, and you would get recommendations in the bottom, like you might also want to watch. Now, what if? there are thousand concurrent users and you are not getting those recommendations or it is coming one by one so all of that experience piece is extremely important so when it comes to kaggle versus real life you will have to deal with these challenges so i'm going deeper into um, what are the challenges which you are going to face when you are actually working on a job right this is uh, Another chart, I found it really interesting. And my suggestion, whenever you are actually working on data and analytics problem, always fall in love with the problem. I'll take a pause. In terms of when I say fall in love with the problem, it's basically understand the problem. We, as a human, we have a tendency we tend to fall in love with the solution rather than problem. So for example, if there are some bright data scientists among you, they would tend to go deep deeper into some of the latest and greatest deep learning algorithm. Now, imagine 
you are uh, actually handling some amount of data in a banking or financial institution. And what you want to do is, let's say calculate net worth of each user, which, which could mean some of all the accounts uh, and uh, uh, some of the credit card spending, deduct the credit card spending and display it on the screen. Do you really need data science and AI? Probably no, you just need rules engine behind that. So having a data plus business intelligence tool would be just good enough to solve that kind of problem. So do not rush behind a tool or latest and greatest algorithm. Focus on what kind of problem you want to solve and then try to find out what is the right kind of um, architecture algorithm behind it. So for example, if you just want to demonstrate with the help of data. So let's look at COVID. COVID is a real use case. The data is available in plenty. What will you do to do some of the exploratory data analysis? For that exploratory data analysis, you probably just need data. You just need another business intelligence tool, uh, which could be Tableau, Spotfire, Power BI to start with to do some of the drill down, exploratory data analysis, understand, recommend what's going to happen, what is really happening and recommend some action out of it. So think about what is your problem? What do you really want to do? And then take a tool. That's the key takeaway from this slide. Now coming to uh, really like, uh, we've been talking a lot on data science, AI. Uh, one of the biggest thing is like people might be wondering like, okay, what's in it for me? Uh, what do I really do in terms of uh, data and analytics? What are the kinds of role which could be possibly available to me? So I've just listed few over here. Uh, you could be a data scientist. You could be a business analyst. You could be a data analyst. Um, RPA, uh, data and cyber security. So cyber security, by the way, is one of the hottest field which is coming up. Um, you could also be a solution architect if you know what is what a data scientist or data engineer um, and the end customer wants, and then you could be a solution architect. Um, you could also be a data engineer if you are from the engineering background in a sense that you know to how to handle databases and all. So there are various roles which are available. Now, where do you land up? It would base, it would be based on your skills and the company to which you are applying. That's extremely important. In terms of skills, um, these are some of the hottest skills uh, which I thought could be very useful for you to focus on. Uh, for example, uh, visualization, how do I calculate return on investment, the data architecture, Python being one of the most prominently used programming language, uh, no SQL databases, NLP, vision systems, um, ML ops. These are the key technical skills which you could acquire or think of acquiring along with uh, also uh, don't miss out on cloud. Uh, these are some of the latest technologies which you should think of learning and acquiring going forward. Now, what really happens when you actually get onto a problem statement? You have a problem statement, you have joined an organization, or uh, you plan to solve a particular problem. How do you approach that? And this is my experience. Based on this, uh, based on my experience uh, work, while working at earlier organization, current organization, what I would recommend is form a team which is really effective team you should have data scientists, of course, that could be you or you could be a data engineer. You should have your ally as domain expert. You should also have a customer. So forming a quad team, uh, that would help you to actually understand the problem, define the problem statement and move ahead with a, with a team. Having a siloed uh, project approach, that would be really tough for you to succeed in this role. So think of always, um, actually getting allies in your project and delivering a project. When um, I'm talking about uh, analytics AI, one of the most important aspect uh, what people forget is um, 
developing the capability of the individual. So I have a picture of sprinters in front of you. So imagine a sprint, you are doing 100 meter race um, and uh, the base record might be just few seconds. But for that few seconds, the sprinter, they actually practice for eight to 10 hours a day. Imagine if you have to deliver some latest state of the art analytics or AI and machine learning algorithm, if you have to do that, what do you need to do with your organization? You have to get your organization ready. You have to train them. You have to enable them. So organizational readiness, put it at really high priority in terms of, um, so which could mean that you train yourself, you train your peers who are your end customers, you train your department heads, which is upward coaching, coach them that this is how you actually develop data science. This is how you deploy data science. So coach them um, uh, and there is technical readiness. Of course, the database, you should have data science or the data available. Once you have digital efforts, the data would be captured. But essentially, you should focus on enabling around people who are around you to uh, actually develop their readiness. These are some of the tips. Um, of course, I uh, emphasize on quad. So forming a high performing team, that's one of the most important factors. Start small, which is early success. Always focus on starting very small in a measurable way so that you can demonstrate your success. Uh, never take up too large project in the start of your career, uh, which is uh, larger than life. Uh, start very small, which will build your confidence, demonstrate your success. Leverage external enterprise expertise and your peer network. Some of you might be really good at what you do. So leverage your peer network always. Um, undersell and over deliver. In a corporate environment, whatever you promise, you have to deliver. So whenever you are, whatever you are promising, be extremely cognizant of that and make sure you deliver that. Identify, and that's last, but basically, Identify if you do not still have a mentor or a coach, make sure you have one. Um, and once you join an organization, make sure you have a sponsor, which can be earned uh, by demonstrating an early success, uh, which you can uh, do that. So these are some of the tips and tricks um, of the game. Uh, I just wanted to share, and because of positive of time, I just had some thoughts around like, how do you really enable, deploy AI? And what are the keys to success uh, in terms of uh, uh, deploying and uh, developing AI? So you can feel free to follow me or connect me on LinkedIn. Any questions, uh, I'm open. Or we can take it at the end of the sessions. Uh, thank you so much, sir. That was really insightful. And uh, we'll take the question answer session at the end.